Welcome to Economics for Students. In the previous video, we discussed various types of goods. Here we will discuss some important concept of macroeconomics. Some important concepts of macroeconomics are investment, depreciation cost, stock and flow. Now I will explain each concept in detail. First, what is investment? Suppose initially there are three machines. So we can say capital stock is three machines. At the end of a financial year, two more machines are purchased. Therefore, change in capital stock is 5 minus 3 that is two machines. This change in capital stock is called investment. We know in an economy producers always want to increase their capital stock so that their capacity to produce increases over time. This increase in capital stock in a year is called investment. Thus I is equal to delta K. Here I is investment, K is capital stock. Delta K is change in capital stock during the year. Change in capital stock is same as capital formation which is same as investment. Investment has two components, fixed investment and inventory investment. Fixed investment refers to increase in the stock of fixed asset of the producer during an accounting year. Suppose a producer in January 2017, he has stock of 5 machines and December 2017, he has 7 machines. Then stock of his fixed asset increases by 2 machines during the year 2017. So his fixed investment is 2 machines. Another type of investment is inventory investment. Change in inventory stock during a year is called inventory investment of the producer. If some output produced in a year remains unsold, it is added to inventory stock. Suppose a producer is starting his business in April 2017 with the previous year's unsold stock of clothes which is 100 pieces. So the opening stock is 100 pieces of cloth. Now during the whole year, he procured 200 pieces of cloth more. So total number of clothes for sale are 100 plus 200 that is equal to 300 pieces of cloth. At the end of the financial year that is March 2018, if 150 pieces of clothes are sold, then remaining 150 pieces will go to inventory stock. So the closing stock will be 150 pieces of clothes. Now change in inventory stock during the year is closing stock minus opening stock. Here it is 150 minus 100 that is 50 pieces of cloth. Therefore inventory investment of the producer is change in inventory stock in a year. Next concept is depreciation cost. Depreciation is loss of value of fixed asset due to normal wear and tear in a year. Suppose one has a tractor as fixed asset worth rupees 5 lakhs. If normal rate of damage is rupees 1 lakh, then it is called depreciation cost. If we deduct depreciation cost from gross investment, we will get net investment. Here net investment is rupees 4 lakhs. Next very important concepts are stock and flow. Stock means quantity measured at a particular point of time. For example, amount of water in the bucket at a particular point of time. Flow means quantity measured over a period of time, say a year, a month, a week, etc. The amount of water flow into the bucket from the tap per minute is a flow concept. Some examples of stock concept. The amount of wheat stored at a particular point of time. The total number of machine in a factory on 31st December 2016. The amount of bank deposit 
on 1st of March 2016. These all are measured at a particular point of time. Some examples of flow concept. The amount of wheat produced in a year, the total number of machine purchased in the year 2016, bank deposit during 1st April 2015 to 31st March 2016. These all are measured over a period of time. So, these are the examples of flow concept. Let's see how stock and flow are mutually dependent. Suppose there is a deposit of rupees 10,000 in the bank account on 1st of December 2017. It is a stock concept. If there is withdrawal from this account of rupees 500 per month, then it will be a flow concept. Similarly, deposit of rupees 1000 per month will be a flow concept. Here, stock of savings depends upon the flow of deposit into the saving account. Likewise, flow of withdrawal depends upon the stock of savings. So, we can say stock and flow are mutually dependent.